great mind. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor, but with Phoebe, she really keeps me on the outside. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. Maybe a new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish she'd get into some trouble. There's still time. What are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? We're completely broke, and our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. went with station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. What is happening here? Somehow, a town with no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Egon came out here for a reason. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh my god. You guys hear that? Something's coming. The whole city the walking dead go, go, go! Ghostbusters, we're ready to believe you we're closed You need a doctor? I am a doctor. I should have died years ago. People all over the world have my disease. I'm here. To find a cure. We have to push the boundaries, take the risks. If you're gonna run, do it now. Dr. Michael Morbius, you've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger, then you were found on a container ship that washed up off Long Island. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Johnny! What did you do to yourself, Doctor? I wish I knew. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. What else can I do? There are limits. There has to be. There's something inside of me. Who wants to hunt? Consume blood. Michael. When you're strange, Can you control it? I don't know. Half the city wants to kill you. We haven't had anything this good since that thing in San Francisco. The other half wants to control you. Hey, uh, Dr. Mike, you and I should stay in touch. I'd do anything to save a life. I don't know what I'm capable of. You save lives, you don't take them. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? Who the hell are you, man? I am. I know. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. Welcome, mate. This is Bravo Request immediate support. 
Captain, do you have any idea what those markers are? They look pretty ancient. The tracks end here. It's definitely Bravo team. They don't just disappear. Where the hell are we? That lightning, it hit those markers and it took us somewhere. Wow. Guys! So what? Are we like Guardians of the Galaxy now? On our six! Yeah, bros. Officially above my pay grade. I don't care what those creatures are. We destroy them and close the gateway. I'm getting us all home. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. Provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm of the same opinion. Come on. The myths are real. Yeah. 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 There was a war. Come on. And they're the last ones standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Who bows to who? Nobody gonna stop for me. Here we go. Kong bows to no one.
why he came all the way up here. There's nothing left. There are people out there. People worth saving. Most people had finally given up hope. What is storytelling? Storytelling started with our indigenous people. Can anyone give me an example of a myth? Or a story they're afraid of? Lucas. What's going on? We found a part of a man in the woods today. Part of a man? I guess the other half was found in the mine. All this has got to be an animal, right? No animal I've ever seen. Something is going on with Lucas. These drawings belong to a student of mine. This is what was in the mine. It's a diabolical spirit. Excuse me, this is a myth. Well, for you, yeah. He's not your responsibility. He has no one. He is my responsibility. He'll come for me. He needs me. He's here. has a beginning. Discover the origin of evil. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. People are getting sick. You gotta help us, Claire. Let the world know what's really going on. We have to contain this. Shall we go? This is where they're experimenting on him. We should split up.
Don't move. Let me see it. Don't move, Amy. Let me see it. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I love it. That's super sweet because it's terrible. <laughs> Angel. Amy, I love you. I'm gonna come find you. The day of the monster uprising was the day I lost everyone. Only a small fraction of humanity survived to move Ben Brown. I've been scanning for Amy the entire time. And now I finally found her. Joel! Hey! Joel! Amy, is that you? Oh my god! Hey! How far away is Amy's colony? 85 miles. It's an impossible journey. Every will try to kill you. Don't fight. Just run and hide. Uh, okay. You really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. You all alone? Me too. You don't have to talk about it. You wanna come with me? So I can sleep at night. Is that a samurai sword? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Listen to your instincts out here, man. What if I have terrible instincts? You'll die. Super encouraging speech. You made it all this way for a girl, huh? You ever hear the term fool's errand? No! Amy! I miss you so much. We have lost this war. We can still take our world back. You're more of a survivor than I thought. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I feel like Tom Cruise. Should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body, you live by my rules. I'm sorry! I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can fix it again! You are a loser. Eddie Brock, I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Please, why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry! This dude needs some serious couples counseling. Listen carefully. You are now 5,000 miles from land, and you're descending seven miles to the bottom of the ocean. See you all in a month. Here we go. We're gonna do this! Let's do this!
scale from one to ten, how bad's my rig? A ten. We drilled to the bottom of the ocean, and we don't know what came out. Gotta get to the station. How did we even get there? We walk. We just gonna walk with insufficient oxygen across the bottom of the ocean. You don't know what's out there. Worst idea ever. What was that? Turn your lights off. Shark Week fans out there, welcome back. It's our third summer here at Little Happy, an abandoned fishing village in the Mozambique Channel. Sharks return here each year. Their home, like ours, is under attack from climate change. Emma. <laughs> Emma, what's wrong? A half dozen people went missing about a hundred miles up the Orange River. Turns out it was bull sharks. So what do we do? There is a boy in the field. It's big. Shark! Brown, where are you? There he is. Those sharks have been altered, engineered. They're not sharks. Climate change is making them highly aggressive towards everything. Get out of the water! It's all about survival, folks. That was close. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the Deviants. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, or all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless Deviants are involved. By who? We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. We have loved these people since the day we arrived. When you love something, you protect it. You can't protect.
I bet you've built the perfect safe house. Well, what's this even made of? Vibranium? <laughs>